Vedic Life Coaching. Thank you so much for joining me. Now, today's video forms part of the Creative Astrology playlist again. I seem to be putting out quite a couple of these. Uh, I'm loving it. This is a fun playlist because it's very free. There are no rules and we're kind of brainstorming together here. So um, there's, there's nothing strict and I'm just trying out ideas and seeing how we can use the language of astrology, uh, you know, to help empower us, to help motivate us, to help inspire us. You know, can, can we use the framework in new ways, in innovative new ways? Can we be creative with this? So I have an idea that I just jotted down. Again, it's the end of another busy day. I'm wearing Saturn's color blue because we are talking about Saturn and no, today is not Saturday. This is not being recorded on a Saturday. Uh, this is being recorded on, what is today? It is Monday today. And guys, I will tell you that some of these Astro Chat episodes, or whatever I've called this, they are pre-recorded on a different day. And I schedule them. I've started that this year because it's so much easier. It's like, yeah, because I've got a lot of stuff going on. So it's a lot easier to do it this way. And I'm going to be, my aim is to launch one every, so every week on a Thursday, Jupiter day at 7 p.m. Mercury hour. Okay, so did you see that? The light just flickered. How cool. Maybe Mercury and Jupiter are here right now. Um, so that's kind of what I'm doing. I'm basically, um, yeah, pre-recording and these episodes you know, they get filmed on a different day to Thursday. So, but I have put the blue on because we are talking Saturn, right? So today is a very Saturnian video. And on my screen, I've just jotted down the note. So this is the working headline at the moment. It might change when it comes time to launch. But the title is, if I was disciplined, I would, dot, dot, dot. Okay, so what's going on here? Right. I started to think about the planet Saturn and I can't remember when this thought came to me but I just had this idea that what if we you know so when you study him you study him in the position where he lives the house which he lives in in your chart but what if you were to pick up Saturn and put him in every single house and ask yourself the question if I was disciplined I would so let's use me as an example I'll be the guinea pig, which I love to do. And let's try it out. So I'm going to draw a little chart here. And I got a new pen. Oh, this one's so much better. The other one was, um, apologies if you're a regular viewer and you've noticed that, you know, it's very difficult to read these. I was almost going to do Roman numerals. No, let's stick with proper numbers. Let's not get too creative. <laughs> 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. Okay. Whoops, that looks like an exclamation point. No. Right. 1, 2, 3. So we've got our chart. Okay. And I'm going to pretend. All right, so I'm going to put Saturn here in this house, in the first house. And I'm going to ask myself the question, if I was disciplined, I would. And then I'll think about the first house and I'll think about, okay, what are all the things in the first house? Okay, well, there's physical body, there's like you, you know, who you are. But physical body, okay, so if I was disciplined, I would do five minutes of exercise every single day. So I'm going to write five minutes of exercise. Okay, cool. Two, what's going on in the second house? Well, there's family and there's money, there's savings, there's all that kind of thing. Oh, straight away I've got one. If I was disciplined, I would create a savings plan. Or I would save, I don't know, savings, whatever, 10% of my income on a regular basis or whatever. So, oh, okay, I've got that little plan there. Three. Okay, if I was disciplined, I would 
three. What's that? Hobbies. It's okay. Well, yeah, I'd make I'd make a piece of jewelry every week. Okay, there we go. Easy. <laughs> right. And then, you know, who knows, by the end of the year, I might have all this jewelry and I'll be able to sell it or something. I actually, I do make jewelry, but I do it purely for fun now. I was selling it at one time, but I don't, I definitely don't do that now. Um, four, if I was disciplined, I would, I would, this one is actually one that I do. <laughs> I would clean my uh, place every Saturday. I would do vacuuming, cleaning, everything. Every single Saturday I would clean. I actually do do that. But let's just say, so we put it down here, cleaning the apartment. Okay, whatever. Five. If I was disciplined, I would... This is one that I seem to be doing, but let's see how good I, I am on that. Launch a video every week. Oh, or is that going to be, hmm, I don't know. Watch a bit every week. Okay. Six. If I was disciplined, I would. Um, I would, I don't know, take some of these savings and uh, pay off my debt. I would have a little payment plan or something. I would negotiate negotiate better terms on a payment plan. How about that? Or something like that. I don't know. Mm, payment. I'll just pay off plan. There we go. That'll do. Seven. What would I do? If I was disciplined, I would. I'm not married. Probably why I'm so happy. <laughs> um... Mm, business. Uh, let's go business. Let's go something business. I don't know. Hmm. Come back to that one. Eight. If I was disciplined in the eighth house, I, I'm going to go. I'm going to go meditate. Meditation. And I I have started that this year. I'm being good. I yes. I am a little bit. Fifteen minutes. Mm, weekends are a little bit uh, anyway that's another story that's all right you know we're allowed to we're allowed to relax nine this one I knew straight away I'd read all the books if I was disciplined I would read all the books on my shelf that I haven't read you know when you just buy stuff and you just, oh I'm gonna buy this and yeah I'm definitely gonna read this giant John Pilger book I never read it you know I bought it years ago so read the unread books Let's keep going here. Tenth house. Um, mm, don't know. So a bit of a gap. Gap here. Uh, Eleven. I, I would sort out my LinkedIn and my profile. I would sort it out and I would um, get in touch with some old contacts. Twelve. What about here? Again, I'm a little bit stumped. But I wanted to do the exercise in front of you so that you could see that like, okay, some of these things I am doing, but let's say I wasn't doing them. This is a plan. I can, I can use this as a plan. It's like, oh, cool. Well, you know, I wasn't doing that before. I wasn't doing the exercise. I need, I need to do that now. Oh, brilliant. You know, you know how sometimes when you're a bit lost or you're stuck in fantasy thinking or you're spinning your wheels or you're not really going anywhere or you're not, you know, because things aren't real, right? Using the chart in this way and doing this exercise with a particular planet that you feel you need to work with is a really good exercise of giving you a real life plan. It All of a sudden, what will pour out of this exercise is a whole bunch of things that in the real world you could or should or want to be doing, right? I like this exercise because it gets you to think, it gets you to think, and also places where you're stuck and you go, oh, I don't know, I don't know, I don't know, I don't know. Blind spot, right? And interestingly, you might find that your Saturn might live in those houses where you have a blind spot. Interesting, huh? So that might require some work. It might require 
uh, for example, working with someone like me, I might be able to shed some light on, on some of those blind spots. But I mean, you know, I just like this exercise. I think it's a really neat little exercise. What I'm going to do is when it comes time to making this video, I'm going to, in the description below, I'm going to write for each planet um, a phrase that you could use. So one that I brainstormed just quickly this evening was you could do a moon one. Okay, so you could go through the entire series, and here's the line for the moon one. If I wasn't so lovesick, I would. Oh, isn't that a good one, right? So it's like you could do this for areas of your life as well, or if I wasn't so heartbroken, you know, the moon. Because we're looking at kind of, it is a bit of fantasy thinking, but in a, in a grounded sort of a way, I think. Um, and this is very much, these are the kind of exercises you go through with a life coach. Uh, I had a professional session with a life coach a long time ago. Two of my friends were training to be professional life coaches and um, they used me as a guinea pig. And one of the things that they do there is they have a wheel and they divide the wheel into, I think it's like, I don't know how many segments. I could even pull out. I've still got my notes when I did it. And they get you to rate like how this area of your life is and all that kind of thing. So look, if I come up with any other creative solutions of using this in a life coaching sort of a way, I'll definitely create those videos and put them on here. So these are just fun little exercises. And if you know the language of astrology, which is not hard to learn and it doesn't take long and it's worth doing, uh, but most of you who are coming and watching these videos, you know all this, you know where all your placements are and you know the houses and you know the planets. So this is just a neat little activity that will give you an instant plan of action. So if you're a bit lost with a section of your life or, or with a particular energy or with an energy that you're unfamiliar with that you don't use very much for whatever reason, uh, you know, maybe in your chart, um, you know, Mercury isn't such a big player, but then when you start tuning into him and maybe thinking and, and doing this kind of activity, uh, you might be able to get some new insights. So I hope this has been an interesting video. Um, thank you for being with me while I do these strange creative things. <laughs> um, and yeah, let's keep exploring and learning together. And uh, of course, there will be more regular astrology videos. I, I do intend to do some serious uh, astrological observations and, and things as well. One of the other things I want to get going on this channel is looking, um, I'm kind of in my head, I'm calling them biographies. And I want to take on, say, people who've passed and um, do an exercise of looking at their chart and explaining to you what I see and matching that up. So that kind of content, whoops, sorry, is coming as well. So please do stick around on the channel. Uh, I really love all of your feedback. I love hearing from you guys. I love you know, comments, questions. Some people email me, which is wonderful. You're welcome um, to get in touch. So thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time.